We've already seen how well the Surface Pro runs full PC apps, but what about Android apps? Sure, why not? This is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com. I'm going to show you how to run Android apps on the Surface Pro. Okay, so here we are with my Surface Pro. And uh, first off, I'm going to show you Bluestacks.com. This is where we can get a uh, special app to run all sorts of Android apps on Windows 8. And you see this is the special one for the Surface Pro, Windows 8 optimized. So that's the one I downloaded and installed. It's a uh, beta right now. So let's try it out. And I've already installed a couple apps here. Uh, you can do the search, and we can search for some more. But let's try some that I already installed. Let's see, how about Angry Birds? Now I have the screen set to 1080p, the native resolution for the Surface Pro, but you can see there's some pixelation in here. So it doesn't really run it at 1080p. And here we go. So this is the free Android version of Angry Birds, and you can tell by the ads. Let's try it out. And let's go right about there. Can do it. And you see a little bit of lag, but we're still doing pretty nicely here. Not bad at all. So the way you navigate uh, Bluestacks in the Windows 8 version is you swipe from the side here and that gives you a little control panel and this button will go back to the home or if I get that back you see the close button this is a minimize button that will make it a, a smaller window and you got the settings the back button and the menu button so let's try another app how about Google Maps the uh, GPS location does not work very well or at all so let's type in something and there we go and it's pretty pretty good it's a little bit of a lag there and again it's not rendering at the uh, 1080p resolution you see some pixels there but it's working pretty well not bad at all and let's try another app how about Instagram? Sure. So there's the Android uh, version of Instagram. And you can see all my friends' pictures. But let's uh, try to take a picture. And no, it doesn't like that very well. Do the front camera? Not going to happen. So, some things obviously don't work. Another cool app to try, Friendcaster. Let's see how that works. So, not too bad. There's our menu, Friendcaster. can upload pictures, no problem. How about Plume? Not bad at all. Now here's the settings for uh, Bluestacks. So we got Cloud Connect, uh, date and time, all that stuff. Here's an interesting one, Manage Applications. Now from here you can choose the app size. So I have them all set as tablet so I get the full uh, width 
versions there, but you can change them to default. Uh, usually they install as the default. Windows 8 apps all still working. Flick, 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 and we uh, see Android is in there. Now, one uh, bug is if I want to snap two programs next to each other. Doesn't always work. See, it went right back to full screen. So I can do normal uh, Windows apps two at a time, but the Android BlueStacks needs the full screen really. So when we do a search, we get a list and I can press install. And now I can choose from three different app stores uh, which one I want to use. And there we go, and just like any other Android, we can install it like so. And there we go, it's installing. Here's your, whoops. There's your notifications bar. This is a little difficult to activate because a swipe down sometimes is for Windows 8. But if you do it just a little bit right there, then you can get the notifications bar in Android. So that's a quick look at using BlueStacks for Windows 8 to run Android apps on your Surface Pro. Works pretty nicely. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.